Greetings, fellow Fright Fiends, and thanks for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. Wanted to wish everyone a happy 4th of July weekend. Um, again, like most of the uh, holidays that we've had, uh, this is a very surreal uh, 4th of July in a very strange year that is 2020. Um, for my 4th of July video, I thought I would do something, uh, talk about a film series that I've never talked about really on this channel. I think I, in a few segments I may have mentioned it. Uh, like uh, top horror films. I also think I mentioned this series in uh, my review of The Meg. Um, it's always been a, fi a film series that I've enjoyed, the original film being a masterpiece and uh, one that uh, just still, I think, holds up so exceptionally well. Of course, I'm talking about the Jaws franchise. So I thought I would rank them. I thought I would do a ranking video on the Jaws franchise. I'm not gonna go into a lot of details about the plots of all of them, because most people know these films pretty well, but uh, I just thought it'd be a fun way to celebrate this 4th of July and uh, a film series that I haven't really talked about before. So, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna go through the films and talk a little bit about what I like, what I don't like, and I hope everyone enjoys this. So starting with number four, uh, we have Jaws 3D, which would, would come out in 1983. And this movie has several writers on it. It was actually done, a screenplay done by Richard Matheson and Carl Gottlieb. And the story was done by Gerdian, Gerdian uh, Trueblood. Of course, it stars uh, Dennis Quaid as uh, Michael Brody, uh, the son of Chief Brody, uh, the Roy Scheider character. And him and his girlfriend and his brother, they all work in a type uh, like SeaWorld down in Florida. And of course, uh, a shark shows up there and wrecks havoc. Also, Louis Gossett Jr. is in it. Uh, this film has never been a favorite of mine. You know, the effects look bad even by 80 standards. I mean, it's there's some effects in this film that are just laughably horrible. And usually I don't get picky about stuff like that, but when they're just so, you know, it's the 3D effects just don't work watching it on uh, regular TV or even in a widescreen format. It just looks so bad. And I just thought it was a very boring film. There's no real interesting characters in it. As much as I think Dennis Quaid is a good actor, I really didn't like him as Michael Brody. I think the only character I really liked in it was uh, Louis Gottsitz Jr., and he was kind of a dick in it. So there's really not a character in it that, that is interesting. And, uh, yeah, it's just never been one of my favorites, and it's not a film that I've watched very much. I've probably only seen the film maybe a handful of times in my lifetime because it just doesn't interest me. My uh, third pick, my third favorite in the Jaws franchise is most people's least favorite, and that is Jaws the Revenge, which would come out in 1987. The movie was written by Michael de Guzman, and it was directed by uh, Joseph Sargent. And the movie would, would see, see the return of Lorraine Gray as uh, Chief Brody's widow. Um, it deals with her son Sean being killed by a great white shark during Christmas uh, on, the island, on the Amity Island where the first two films took place. And uh, Lance Guest plays uh, the older son, Michael. It's almost like the third film didn't happen. Like this is a continuation of uh, the events after Jaws 2. And uh, what ends up happening is they end up taking uh, the uh, Mrs. Brody down to the Caribbean where they live, Michael and his wife and their little girl. And uh, the great white that killed her son uh, follows them down there, which, you know, is the part of the plot that's pretty ridiculous. But I don't know what it is about the film. It's not perfect. And yes, uh, there's a lot of scenes and shots that are reused from the original Jaws that don't make a lot of sense um, having them put into the to the film. Also there are scenes of the shark roaring which you know sharks don't have vocal cords so they can't roar like lions. So yeah there's some silliness in this film. Um, there was a subplot that I guess is in the novelization where there was voodoo involved. I don't know a lot of details about that but that's something I've heard. And as silly as the movie is, there's just something I really enjoy about it. It has more of a feel of the first two films than the third one. But there's something about it that I just enjoy. And uh, yeah, it's one that I've watched many more times than Jaws 3. So yeah, Jaws the Revenge might be silly, but I enjoy it. Number uh, two on my list is going to be Jaws 2. And this uh, film was directed by Jeannot Swark. And it was written by Carl Gottlieb. Howard Sackler. Of course, the sequel, sequel picks, picks up, up on Amity Island and follows Chief Brody as another killer shark uh, enters the waters surrounding the island. And uh, I, I really like this film. I love 
uh, some of the tension moments where the kids that are on the the, sh the little uh, sailboats are out kind of trapped by the shark. I also love the scene where the shark is able to pull a helicopter down under the water. There's some really uh, good moments. It's got a good cast. Of course, you know, you have the amazing Roy Scheider coming back. Um, I've always enjoyed it um, because it was able to continue the story and I think do it in, in, a, in a very interesting way. And I love the ending. I think the way that Brody outsmarts the shark is, is really cool and it just shows uh, what an amazing actor Roy Scheider was to carry this film and also just I love the Chief Brody character. Probably one of my favorite uh, characters in movie history. And of course number one should be no surprise it is the masterpiece that is Jaws, Steven Spielberg's film uh, starring you know uh, Roy Scheider, the late great uh, Robert Shaw, uh, Richard Dreyfus, based off Peter Benchley's uh, novel um, Jaws, and then it was also the screenplay was done by Carl Gottlieb and Peter Benchley. And I just think and the just... film is still terrifying to this day. It's the reason I am scared to death of the ocean. Jaws just fucked my mind up when I was a kid. I was scared, so scared with that film, I was scared to even swim in my grandparents' pool sometimes because I thought there might be a shark in the deep end of that pool, especially when it would get, you know, dirty or, like, cloudy in certain spots of the pool. I said, something's hiding in that pool. And, uh, yeah, Jaws still uh, terrifies me to this day. And I think the fact that the shark didn't work, and it's just about, you know, the amazing John Williams score, just seeing that fin and knowing that something is there. Even when you don't see it, you know that something's there. And it's the camera, you, the way that uh, Spielberg directs it, uh, it's the, the camera, the, the camera angles, like something will flash real quick and, and you're like, did I just see what I thought I saw? And it's, it's actually just some of the most terrifying scenes ever put on film. Um, the film still holds up. We're going on 45 years since it's been in theaters and uh, it still is one of the greatest blockbusters ever made and one of the scariest films in my opinion ever made. Nothing is going to top uh, Steven Spielberg's Jaws. So that is it fellow fiends. Just wanted to do something quick for the 4th of July talking about the Jaws franchise. Of course this being the best film in the series but like I said with the exception of Jaws 3, um, I love the other two films just as much. I love Jaws the Revenge, as silly as it is. And Jaws 2 is a terrific sequel to this masterpiece. It's not nearly as good, but I think it's a worthy sequel, and it's one that I enjoy. And, you know, Roy Scheider coming back uh, it was really uh, makes it that much better. I enjoy watching all these films, except for 3. And I'm curious what you guys think about the Jaws franchise. Let me know what your ranking is down in the comment section below. would love to hear from everyone. And as always, thanks for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well, and I promise I'll talk to you again soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Happy Fourth of July. I want to thank everyone for taking this time to drop by the horror zone it really means a lot to me that people are supporting what i do here if you like this video um please uh, hit the subscribe button down below uh, i upload videos at least once or twice a week it would really mean a lot if people would spread the word about this channel um, I, this is a passion of mine. I love the horror genre and, uh, I'm really happy to share, uh, my love of it with all of you. So thanks so much again for checking it out and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.